Good evening and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be looking at the divisibility rule for 7 and the proof of it. So the divisibility rule is, let's say you had a 5 digit number, A, B, C, D, E, the way you'd find out if, it's, it is, if it was divisible by 7 is you would do A, B, C, D minus 2, E and see if that's divisible by 7. And then you would do, if you didn't know, you would do A, B, C minus 2, D minus 2, E. And see if that was divisible by 7. And so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and prove that. So if you had our number, A, K, A, K minus 1 all the way to a2, a1. That is equal to a1 plus 10, a2 plus 100, a3, all the way to 10 to the k minus 1, uh, a k. And it's 10 to the k minus 1, because if you note, the, num the power of 10 multiplied by a1 is is um, zero, so it'll be ten to the k minus one. Maybe perhaps next video I should denote it as a a zero rather than a one. Anyway, food for thought. Um, right. So the next line, we're going to split this up into a multiple of seven and something that's not a multiple of seven. So we're going to do seven or seven a one plus. 7a2 plus 70a3 plus 7, sorry, plus all the way to 7 times 10 to the k minus 2, note, a k. And then we're going to minus, minus 6a1s, because that will get us back to our 1a1. So, here and here, that will get us back to our 1a1, one one. plus 3a2, plus 30a3, and so on, uh, plus brackets that, and that's 7, so a multiple of 7, dot dot dot, plus 3 times, Minus 2a1 plus a2 plus 10a3 plus 100a4 plus all the way to uh, 10 to the k minus 2ak. Now, if you notice, what we have in this bracket here is actually a k. Uh, the number, a k, a k minus 1, uh, all the way down to a 3, a 2, minus, sorry, a 2 minus 2, a 1, because they have the same power of 10. Uh, that's our number, which is what we were trying to find up here, where we've got the, the second last term minus 2 times the last term. So a2 minus 2a1. And the reason that that is significant is if I write the next line, we have a multiple of 7. Our number is equal to a multiple of 7 plus 3 times this expression. Now, if this expression is a multiple of 7, then the 3 is relevant. We have 7 times a number. So we have a multiple of 7. If this thing here is a multiple of 7, then we have a multiple of 7. And so that is, that's the reason why. Thank you for attending this video, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. We will be doing 11 next time.